Hello everybody and welcome to City Skylines. Today we're going to be checking out Disasters. <laughs> and we'll do a quick overview of what there is. Just download this today and I haven't really messed with it too much yet. There's tornadoes, earthquakes, sinkholes, thunderstorms, forest fires, collapsing, I guess which you can just collapse a bunch of buildings, which is kind of cool. It might be cool to see. A uh, regular fire. That looks like it catches nearby structures a little bit better. A tsunami and... <laughs> Last but not least, a meteor strike. <laughs> I'm not necessarily going to do these in order, but I might do the earthquake today, which I think might be fun. So, there are also buildings that come with this. If we go into the fire tab, in, there's a disaster tab next to it. There's like a disaster response unit, which we have uh, right down here, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty big building. There's a bunch of other stuff. There's like an earthquake sensor right here we have. Which is going to be good because we're going to need one. There's also this huge tall radio mass which can actually alert everybody. There's also, well, a garbage issue. But we're not going to worry about that too much. <laughs> we have over here a fire helicopter depot for brush fires and a medical helicopter depot. There's also some, let's see, little shelters, small emergency shelters all around the city that I've placed. And out here, I think I've also placed some uh, tsunami sensors. <laughs> so I think for the most part, we've got everything down. It's not a very big city. I think as I go on, I might increase the city size and we'll go from there. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to spook, spook this town pretty hardcore with an earthquake. Let's go into the tab here. And where shall we have this earthquake? Should we have it? Pretty much dead center in the city. Oh, right here it's kind of black and burnt because there was a brush fire while I was setting everything up. But uh, we, we handled it, no problem. I think what we can do to test our ability to evacuate and contain the disaster, we should try and put the earthquake like dead center right here. How's that sound? Warning. Experts predict an earthquake could hit the area soon. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> An earthquake shakes the ground. Buildings near the center of the quake can be sh destroyed. Oh no. It's all happening. It's all happening right before our eyes. Let's go into a uh, cinematic mode. Can we do that? Oh yeah, we can. Look at this. Okay, so it's the middle of the day, it seems like. And uh, everybody's going to be going to work. Or just buildings being built. And they have to look out for an earthquake. But hopefully our radio mass is going to actually warn everybody about the earthquake that's coming and our earthquake sensor should be going off I think any minute now about a 5.5 magnitude earthquake it said was going to shake the city so we'll just hang out here until it does happen oh whoa it's happening it is happening it has finally happened Oh no! Oh! Oh man! It's tearing right through the city! Oh, this is not good. Oh! Look at. <laughs> oh, that building's on fire over there! Oh! I didn't expect it to rip through the city just like that. I don't know what I expected, to be honest. <laughs> I've never seen it happen before. Oh no! Oh, this is not good at all. Oh, I mean, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but that was pretty bad, actually. Oh, look at the helicopters go. Oh, they're coming to save everybody. Dwayne Johnson is inside that helicopter right now. He's going to go save his mom off the top of a helicopter. Or, not off the top of a helicopter, but off the top of a building. Oh, wow, look, they really get down in here, huh? They're actually... This is amazing. They're down here saving people. This is absolutely amazing look at all the people that are waiting for the bus <laughs> sorry guys the bus isn't coming today <laughs> there's been an earthquake oh wow that is really cool that is really cool wow that was pretty amazing it didn't take no time at all for it to happen either the thing is now we have to fix everything that has gone wrong our infrastructure is just absolutely destroyed so we better get back into building the whole oh, shit oh man oh 
Oh no. This is bad. We have to fix everything. We have to come in here and demolish all this stuff. And, I mean, it's not too bad. At least it was like a 5.5 magnitude. I mean, it's not the worst, is it? I don't think so. It, it's probably pretty bad, though. I mean, we did lose a good portion of the city. But look, we're just going to come in here, demolish all that we can. We're going to have to get rid of the bus stop because we're not going to be able to come in here and wait for the bus. Oh, man. So the purpose is we're going to have these natural disasters come in. And we're going to see how well our disaster response unit actually responds to the disaster. Which it seems like they're doing pretty well so far. And I don't know if demolishing these buildings that are burnt down, I don't know if that's going to mess up. No, it's not. Okay. They're still landing and taking people, which is great. Which is really great. Everything seemed to work out pretty well so far. We are going to have to put new bus stops down. That's for sure. Some buildings over here got a little rattled. That's fine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it did rip through half the city, but I think our roads are fine for the, mo for the moment. Uh, we can actually build some more roads. So we're going to do that now. We're going to come through here, and we're going to place a big old road down. And we should try to get a main road down too. That way. Uh, bus and taxi. There we go. That way we can start getting buildings back up again. Ah, oh, see, that wasn't so bad, was it? That was pretty amazing. I like that. This road is really busy. I mean, did we lose a lot of people? Probably. We lost like 1,600 people. That was pretty bad. Maybe, maybe I should uh, actually make evacuation routes. <laughs> Instead of just placing these down. Because you can actually place evacuation routes so that people will go to these structures. Oh, look. I guess a bus comes out, and it picks people up, so we can have a route come down and actually pick a bunch of people up on the avenue here, which is great. Garbage is piling up, but I think that's fine. Ugh. Okay, so first disaster down. I think next episode we'll try maybe uh, a tornado or something, or a thunderstorm, or who knows? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. It's a short video, I know, but it doesn't have to be too long. Each disaster is pretty quick, and at the end, we'll have the city really built up, and we'll just do all of the disasters at once. I don't know if you can do that, but it would be cool. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.